Hello everyone and welcome to Greenlight. Today we're going to talk a little bit about self-distribution. So something great happened to me uh, the other day. Um, it sounds a little messed up because um, uh, I know a lot of people that would be dealing with uh, distribution companies or um, they have that middleman that they have to deal with uh, so they could get their film released and seen by um, a big audience. Um, so I didn't put any money up front or anything like that. I was able to do a deal with them and uh, they just asked me for the material, you know, all the materials uh, to sell it. Um, so, you know, subtitles, um, uh, scenes, uh, putting all the scene selections for the DVDs and, and um, time codes and all that. So, um, and the right format for the, for the film itself. Um, so, I'm not dealing with them anymore. Um, I'm doing this yet again on my own. Um, before that move I did with, before I worked with the distribution company, I, um, I was on Amazon Prime on my own. So it was self-distribution right off the bat. Amazon had opened up their gates for all filmmakers. So basically you can go on there right now. You could check right now in the description below and check a link for Amazon Prime. So it's Amazon Video Direct. You're gonna type in videodirect.com and you can go on there and find out a lot more. You could also go on their Facebook page and all that stuff and check out their videos so you know a little bit more of what they're about. Um, it's going to be a great opportunity for you to reach a larger audience with your film. Um, so obviously, story's king. So it all depends on um, what your story is about and how it relates to your audience. And again, it's on how you reach your audience as well when it comes to that. So that's the first site I'm going to be telling you about today. Um, there's a couple more. Um, let's start. Um, let's let's start with the first one which is um, um, for anybody that has an idea for their first feature film or their second or anything like that, um, I would suggest um, seedandspark.com. On seedandspark.com, they'll help you from the beginning you start. I think you gotta get a certain amount of, um, I don't think they call it pledges, but a certain amount of people um, joining your your campaign or something like that so if you get a certain amount of people joining in on your campaign and sharing it I mean they don't even have to put money in it um, I think you get like if you get like 500 people or something like that um, you get a bunch of prizes and uh, Seed and Spark helps you out they give you equipment and things like that to help you through um, uh, a bunch of other things that they do normally even with or without that is that you could not only raise money on there but you could also distribute your film through seed and spark but if you don't want to do that and you already have your film done we'll go on to our second site and our second site is going to be amazon prime i know i mentioned it already before again the link is in the description below so you could check down there and find out more about amazon prime it's exciting stuff I'm, I'm loving being on there the third site that I am on um, that I'm going to be on uh, within the next week or so it's called realhouse.org so real house is a independent film uh, website so basically it's a bunch of people like myself and, and you uh, that are um, able to upload their short films feature films um, documentaries and things like that um, the great thing is that they're seen by filmmakers like yourself. They're seen by people that know what kind of films they're watching and want original films, original content, original um, peoples that are just like them, that are just starting out. You know, people want to see that more often than you think. Um, so that's the third one. Uh, there's another one I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to throw in BHX. VHX is another one. Um, can't say too much about them right now. I don't think I'm going to use them right now. 
Um, I thought about it a couple times, and they keep I keep hearing about it. So I, I would suggest you know, look into it. it could be it could be worth it for you. Um, but um, the main fourth one is tug. Tug is amazing. I'm definitely gonna use that on um, on my documentary about Cuba. So I will be releasing it into theaters. So the thing with Tug, so Tug is cool. It's t u g g dot com. Again, the description will be in the, I mean the link will be in the description below. So check down there and um, and check them out. So basically, Tug helps you um, get your film into theaters um, across the United States. Um, so all you have to do is create your fan base. Um, sell out I think it was like 80% of your tickets so you have to like sell out a, a good amount of percent you have to sell a good amount of those seats just to reserve your space on that screen Isn't that crazy but it's free you don't have to do anything and as long as you're doing that and you're selling out tickets they'll offer they'll offer to print out your poster and put it into those theaters and marketing materials just for a theater release. It's incredible. And there's a bunch of um, big documentaries that are coming out of there. So mine, I'm going to put it through there as soon as it's done after I do um, a film festival run um, early, early next year. Um, or most likely going to be submitting late this year. So I'll, again, I'll keep you guys updated on that one very soon. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed that and understand, um, that you don't need anybody. You don't need someone to tell you, Hey, I can, you know, get your films to uh, your film to the masses. No, no, you can do that yourself. You just got to push yourself. You got to do a little bit more than you thought that you never could, but you can't. I am here right now telling you that you have the green light. You can do anything you put your mind to. I know that's been said to death by people, but seriously, technology is there for you. I'm doing this right off an iPad, you know, specifically to let you guys know that there should be no limits. I have a one and a half year old child and I have to do episodes like this every now and again just to get an episode in. So make your sacrifices that you have to make and get your projects out there. And tell me, please tell me in the comments below, please tell me uh, about your movie. Tell me about your short film. Let me know what you're doing. I'd love to watch it. I'd love to share it and let people know um, that, you know, uh, movies aren't just made by celebrities, um, even movies with heart. So. Stay tuned on this channel. There'll be more soon. Um, our next episode next week um, will be about um, audio fix and audio fix app. So basically, what they they do is they take footage like my iPad footage and things like that, and they adjust sound. I might not be doing that right away with this one. I'm gonna just upload it straight into YouTube, uh, so you guys have this right away. I hope you guys enjoy my feature, my first feature film. Um, it's um, a micro budget feature, so um, I went in on it more as a producer and would have loved to have uh, spent more time with the actors to get it. Um, um, just um, little details and things that I wish that I could have done, but I feel like every filmmaker feels that way. And just letting you guys know that I feel that way too sometimes. You know, you have to. Um, you know, the only way you can get better is by um, critiquing your own work and pushing it and taking in advice. That's the other major thing is taking in advice from other people. But um, so I'd love to hear from you. I want to know more. I want to know what I did wrong, what I did right. Um, so please let me know. So in the cards right over here, you're going to see the trailer. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel right over here. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon. And please let me know if you guys want to hear um, how we made that feature film. I could do a third follow-up video to this, okay, for that feature film of mine.
for Creed and talk about how we uh, made that feature film happen. Okay, until then, until next time, stay tuned guys and be easy.